you have reached white beach confession. Mm. Fuck yeah. Do not call this number unless you order for Trump. God damn it. Shut up. I want you to be happy. Fuck you. Shut up. Actually, I'm not a Trump supporter. Shut up. I'm a ruin up. this fucking country. Shut up. Stop breaking my fucking ball. Shut up. Hey, what happened? Like, I don't know who the fuck this is. Why don't you come to my address and say something, motherfucker? Shut up. Stop breaking my fucking ball, fucker. Shut up. Hey, what happened? My wife is in danger now. Hey, what happened? Fucker. Hey, what happened? Fucker. Following me, that's what happened. Shut up. I don't know who you are, man. Who is this? Why would you believe any of that? Shut up. I've been oh. asleep. Shut up. Since 9.30. Shut up. Well, ma'am, the, the gentleman, he, he's the... Uh... The gentleman? Who is the fucking gentleman? Well, ma'am, ma'am, please bring it down a notch. Don't forget, you gotta get your green card from me, fuck. Huh? Shut up. Happen. All right? What can happen? What the fuck? Who the fuck are you, man? Shut up. Fuck, what kind of car are you looking for, dummy? Dodge Neon. Bring it. Soft, bitch. We ain't got no damn Dodge Neon here, man. What happened? Don't you ever call here again, man. You understand me, bitch? I'll fuck your mother like I'll fucking kill your ass, bitch. You understand me? Try Don't it, you call it. this motherfucker again, man. Bring your punk on. ass over here, man. Talking that shit. shit. Talking that shit. Bring your ass over here. Three, two, zip. Shut up. Huh? What happened? I'll give you the address, punk. What? Bring your punk ass over here, man. Shut up. Bring yeah, your man. punk ass over here, man. Your your bring your punk ass here, nigga. Shut up. Bring your punk ass here. Is that a trailer Please. Car? I'm gonna beat the shit out of you and then buy me some lunch and drink off of you, bitch. What happened? Bring your bitch ass here. What happened? Bring your bitch ass here, man. I don't know what happened. Bring your bitch ass here. I just Google Earth that the trailer. Bring your bitch ass here, man. Are you in the trailer? Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Don't call me anymore. Shut up. You should put the phone down your pants to get pleasure from me calling you. Fuck you. Shut up. What happened? It's a green car, sir. It's a green car. Are you ignorant, man? I don't know what a green, green car. Green, you gotta green. tell me what kind of car you talking about, man. Green car. The, the color is green, green, man. Yeah, dummy. I know the color is green. What kind of car, dummy? Shut up. Don't come. Just... Don't call here no more, man. Don't call here no more, man. Shut up. Don't call here no more. You don't call here no more, man. All right. Yeah. What do you want? Hey, what happened? Fuck you. Yo, fuck you, motherfucker, you piece of fucking shit. Shut up. Don't ever call me again, you goddamn cunt. Shut up. Fuck you. Don't, you don't call me fuck a cunt. You. you don't call fuck me a cunt. You. Don't call me a cunt. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, cunt. Shut up. Don't God. ever call me again, you piece of fucking shit. Shut up. Can you eat your mother's asshole with that mouth? Oh, I will. I'm not allowed to swear on this line, sir. You motherfucker dick. Cunt, fucking piece of shit. Shut up. I love this country. Shut up. I do 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 love this country. Shut up. 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 Shut Oh, oh, now we're trying to do better. Now we're trying to be better about our applause. Ah, that's a little bit better. 98.6. Ah, that's, that's better. That's how the show should open. You remember this for next time. You, you fuck around again, and then it's just over. It's over for all of us. Hello. My name is Dwight, and it is the 30th day of March 2024, and it is the day before Easter, and we're here to do a show. I contemplated moving the show to Sunday to actually be on Easter because uh, I didn't know if I would be home in time. Uh, I, I, I was out uh, having all kinds of fun shenanigans and laughing and cooking food. And I uh, had a wonderful night of watching Encino Man and uh, Freddy Got Fingered uh, while just, just relaxing. So you motherfuckers almost lost out. You're just lucky that, 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 that she allowed me to come home and do a show. I'm just saying that, that you're just lucky. You're at you're you're at her will. So that's that's fucking that. Okay, just so you know, that's almost it. All right, all right. Yeah, you go fuck around, and find out. Indeed. Give me a second here. I'm gonna bring on the uh, the Skype machine, Incorporated's here, and we are live with the Skype crew. Hi guys. Hi. Welcome back. Hello. 
it's a light machine. Happy Easter, brother family. Happy, happy Easter. Yeah, the day that the zombie came back and everyone, they were actually happy for this one. Um, the zombie they, king, that's why. <laughs> oh. Is the zombie Jesus. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, it was a, it was a lot of fun watching those older movies. I I feel bad because I skipped out on Cat last night because I had to get I I'd been up for really long. I was up almost twenty four hours by the time um, <laughs> we were watching fucking Ricky St- Stanicki again. I, Ted bounced out too when I saw Ted was gone. I was like, wow, there's no reason to stick around for. I've already seen this. You know, Ted was gone. We only played it because Ted hadn't seen it yet. If you haven't watched it, it's a good movie. It's it's very entertaining. Uh, a lot of, a lot of good comedy. Com- com- machine. Man. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd been up almost 24 hours. Uh, this week was a real, uh, real motherfucker. Yeah. Um, as everyone knows, I was, I've been gone for about two weeks. My dad has spent some time in the, uh, in the hospital machine after taking a, uh, a, a bad fall. Uh, they had finally released him uh, last week, but then uh, it turned out he had pneumonia as well. So he ended up going back in because his pneumonia uh, was really, really bad. And then they hospitalized him for about another week. Um, he's out now. He's he's out and he's in, he's enjoying the the weekend and shit. So we're we're back to the regular schedule here. Thank you for calling the Best Western Ram Code in Sioux Falls. This is Kylie. How can I help you? Hi, Kylie. Um, I've just arrived outside and um, I seem to be having an issue with being able to park my vehicle. Too many, uh, too many small-minded people. They there's a couple of uh, gas guzzlers out here. Um, but we need to have them come down and move their vehicle so I could park my cyber truck out here. Um, I need, I need about I need about ten of these uh, peasants' cars moved so I can have room for my cyber truck. All right, one second, Kate. Sure. Oh. All right, I'm not I'm not staying on for that. She she probably isn't going to do shit about it anyway. You know, this is what's funny is I'm calling the real shitty rated places. Like, who the fuck that owns a cyber truck is coming to the to the one and a half star fucking Holiday Inn? You know, who's doing who's doing that? I would rather live in the cyber truck than step foot in there. I don't think I'm allowed in hotels anymore though. After after that trip to that fucking trip to Orlando, where it literally looked like I could push my way through the wet ass wall. And of course, Hyphonics spread the rumor that I was in, I was fucking apparently murdered in this hotel. Messages up the ass asking me if I was okay. <laughs> if I was okay, they thought I was dead. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? They're like, yeah, Hyphonics said that you fucking died. Got fucking hobo stabbed at the, at the fucking Red Roof. Thank you for calling the morning, how can I help you? Yes, hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm very important and pretentious. And I have a cyber truck outside that requires you to move at least 65 cars out of your parking lot. Sorry? Could you speak up a little bit, please? Sorry, sir, I can't get you. Can I ne- could you repeat once? I need you to move 65 cars out of your parking lot so I can park my cyber truck. Do do you have any reservation for today? Yes, I have a reservation. I've rented the entire place. I'm very important. I own a cyber truck. I have rented all of the rooms. I will be staying in one per night for the next month. For the next month? On yes. this date, sir? Uh, starting today. I need you to kick everybody out of the hotel. I will be staying in one room, but I would like all of the rooms. And I'm going to park my cyber truck. Do you need a reservation right now, or do you have any reservation? Yes. No, no. I need a reservation now, but I need you to evict all the peasants out of your hotel. So that I may... Okay, can't do that. Listen, uh, Terry Makichut, you will do this, okay? Because I'm very important. Sorry, sir. Could you repeat once again? Oh, yes. I, I referred to you as... Uh, I spent some time in India. You are what we refer to as a Terry Makichut. your name sir yes my name is dwight i'm very important you may refer to me as the hoss of wonder and can i get your phone number sir uh, you have you can call me back that's fine 
Sure. Better you yeah. Yes. I'll talk to my manager and call you back. Okay, so you you me. talk to you talk to your your manager, and uh, I'm just going to take your your lovely sister out on a very fancy date. I will hold her hand as I kiss her belly button. Would you like I to? Would, yes, you may call me back at. Yeah, I'm gonna kiss his sister on the belly button. That 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 was that was her nu- nutrition hole when she was in the womb. The belly it's button. It's full of curry powder. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, let's see here. Let's find another place. All right, you know what? Let's go through the movies real quick uh, while I got that screen up. Uh, your movies for tonight. <laughs> Fucking new news already messaged me. There's got to be some nonsense in that message. I bet. So your 10 movies to select from for movie night tonight are Stargate, Zero Hour, John Wick, The Dictator, The Voices, On the Line, Jurassic World uh, Dominion, uh, Two for the Money, Heart Beeps, and Low Blow. Those, those are your movies to select from in the movie poll section of Dwight Court. You can make your ass on a way over there. In about two hours, the voting's going to be done, and we'll have a winner. I put my money behind two for the money. That's got that's uh, got Matthew McConaughey and um, uh, Al Pacino in it. Yeah. Uh, so I voted for that. But I'm not influencing your vote, because I really don't care, because I spend that first that first movie really editing the, uh, the show for the Patreons. I half-ass have it in the background while I'm doing the editing. I do it for you. I missed the first movie you have the night for you guys. I just want you to know how dedicated I am, okay? God damn it. All right. So let's continue on. Grab this number. I'm going to grab this number so fucking hard right now. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm putting it in. Put this number in. Thank you for calling Connor Two Falls. Yes, hi, how are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm good. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, but do you know the Tesla Cybertrucks? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Well, my Tesla Cybertruck is actually inside of your hotel right now. I hit the back of the hotel with it, and currently I'm occupying the last room on the first floor. Okay, I'll just uh, give it to the manager so he can have a word with you. No, no. all the Half of the wall is missing on this room now. One second. Are you, excuse me, sir. Are you a right. ga, are you a, are you a gada? Just give me a second, sir. I yeah. cannot do that, sir. Hello? Yes, hello. 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 What's your number, sir? Uh, I just informed him. I have crashed my cyber truck into the last room on the first floor. Uh, the wall has been gently moved, and I need somebody to come and uh, and remove the debris so that I may move my truck. It's brand new. I am not used to driving it yet. Where are you at right now? I'm outside. I've crashed into the building. Okay. We'll be right there. Okay. How long? I'm very important, and I have places to go. First, I have to call the police. First, you have to calm the fuck down and tell me how long. I I just told you. No, no. I'll be right there. I need need digits. I need minutes. I need to know how many seconds. So so how was everybody's uh, weekend so far? Uh, Anybody got big plans for the, uh, the Easter's? No, not my penis. No, the chair. The chair is piston. Gonna cook a big Easter ham. Yeah. Man, I got. I got I no was planning plans. on hanging upside down from the ceiling in a dark room. Are you a bat? <laughs> I was gonna say he's a bat in a perch and about freight. I will be after that. Oh. Yeah, I. I, I it will help me think with my brain too. <laughs> I have uh, I have no plans. I'm not, uh, not cooking. I'm not cooking anything. I'm not eating anywhere. I'm uh, just gonna kind of exist, I guess. 
Fasting. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just going to exist. I'm going to exist in the universe. Yeah, this is Leslie. Hi. Hi, Leslie. How are you? Who is this? Oh, this is Carl. I'm calling from over here at Hertz Rent-A-Car about a car that you rented and hasn't come back yet. Is this a spam call? No, absolutely not. I'm um, actually calling because it was supposed to be returned this morning, and we have yet for you to I, check in. What what car are you talking about? Uh, what, in what town? I'm I'm call, I'm calling about the Tesla Model E that you rented here in I didn't in, rent a car. in Sioux Falls. I am reporting you right now. For what? Harassment. Harassment. I've called you about a vehicle of I ours that you have taken. Park. This is a false call, and I'm calling. I'm calling the police and the authorities. This is the second time it's happened. This is not a calling false call, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Sounds like this woman's on edge all the time. Thank you for calling Hilton Garden Inn. How can I help you? Hi. Um, I, I don't know who to address this to. You know the hot tub? Yeah. Yeah. There's a. There's like a, I. I don't want to say Mexican, Hispanic. I guess is is the terminology. She's like she's got. A, I've never seen this. A carton of eggs. And I asked her what she was doing, oh. and she's dropping eggs in the hot tub. She says, got to boil eggs, got to, I mean, I don't mean to do the accent, but she said, got to boil oh. eggs, got to boil. Oh. She was saying something about Easter tomorrow, got to boil eggs. Yeah, we'll have someone look at that. Thank you for yeah, calling. Yeah, I, I got out when she started dropping, the, like, the food coloring tablets into the hot tub. But I, oh that's, that's okay. probably going to stain. I don't know what that's made out of. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you. She was very low energy. Like we'll she was really she was really phoning it in. Okay. All right. We'll have someone look at that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. Have oh, a good night. Bye. Mr. Bolton? Yes, hi. How are you? Hi. Um I want to uh bring something to your attention. You know the smoke detector, right? Uh sorry. Who I know? No, the smoke detector in my room. Excuse me, can I know your name, please? Yeah, my name is Dwight, and I'm a criminal. Okay. And so I've been in here breaking the laws of your local municipality. Um, I've been blowing marijuana smoke directly into your smoke detector to try to set it off. How much marijuana smoke do I have to blow into it in order to set it off? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what kind of question is this. Okay, I'm smoking a lot of marijuana in your room right now. I'm grinding marijuana seeds into the floor. Um, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm leaving lots of marijuana plants. Like I'm taking them out of their pots and I'm just leaving them in the sink, like roots and all. Um, and what I want to know is how do I set this off? I'm, I'm trying to set you up. I'm trying to set you, I work for another hotel and I'm trying to set you up. I'm like, you guys are a bunch of drug dealers. I, I don't know what kind of question you are doing. I don't know if you're sober or not. No, I'm, I'm, I'm marijuana uh, drunk. I'm drunk on the marijuana. Okay. But I I work for another hotel. I, I can't help you in this situation. I don't know what... Hey, I work for another hotel, motherfucker. Listen. And, like, so I'm in the room right hey, now. What? what the fuck up? Hey, you, hey Maracho. <laughs> That's something Dwight the Criminal would do, though. He would he would, he would fuck that place up. We're, we make it hashish. Hashish. All while proudly proclaiming that he's a criminal. Yes. Dwight, the criminal doesn't give a fuck. No fucks given. Motel 6, Woods Cross. Amber, how can I help you? Hi, Amber. Um, I need to know, uh, and I'm, I'm sorry that, that you're going to have to deal with this. I'm actually kind of TikTok famous and stuff, and I'm trying to do uh, one of those funky new trends how much marijuana smoke do i have to blow into the smoke detector in order to set it off you can't smoke in the room so if you're smoking i'm not in the room, i'm not smoking cigarettes i'm i'm smoking marijuana um you're not i you're not i can't have this conversation with you what so, What do you mean why not because that's just i don't have the right i'm i'm petitioned not to speak with you on this well, I'm if in, I find out what room you're in, well, I'm, I'm going to charge you $150. Well, so I'm in 201. I'm in 201 just above you. That's one. 
Okay. And uh, let me. So oh, you're damaging. Never you're mind. Da- let me I, tell you. I figured it out. You're damaging property. I figured you're it out. You're damaging property. Okay. Hang on. All right. Hang on. Thank you. Hang on. Bye. Hang on. Hang on. I'll... Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Listen, I was up here, um, <laughs> I was having an Easter egg hunt with my, my son in the room. And oh, he's... you got... What? Oh, what's that? Can you repeat that? I'm having, I was having an Easter egg hunt with my son in my room. Mm-hmm. And okay. I, I was being funny and I hid one of the eggs in the toilet. And, oh. and I... He went to go grab the last egg, and I flushed it down the toilet. And now he's thre- he's threatening to go in after it, like into the into the pipes. Uh, uh, um, see. So, in which room number are you in? I'm on the second floor. Behind- Baby, don't go in the don't go in the toilet for the egg, okay? Oh, he's in! Oh my God, he just went in. He he just jumped in the toilet. He flushed himself down. No, oh, it went in. That's good. No, yeah. the baby flushed himself down the toilet. Oh. He's in. Oh my, oh my god. god. Where does the toilet come out? Oh. Where does the where does it go? Oh, so it uh, I'm not sure where it go because um I'm new here so I don't know where it went down. Do, where where could I retrieve the baby? Um Let me just uh, He talk he, to he literally idea. he literally stepped into the toilet. Like put his finger on the plunger and he says, "I play for keeps, motherfucker." And then he flushed himself down the toilet. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Yeah. I. Oh, you can just. Uh, do I need to keep flushing to make sure he makes it all the way down? So if it went through, then you just. Uh, he kept the baby kept you, the baby kept yelling the treasure. It fell into the underwater cave. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do I have yeah. to keep flushing? So the water came out or no? Now that, yeah, I, I think he's stuck in there. The water keeps coming out of the toilet now. Oh, uh, so you just leave it as it is. Uh-huh. So um, may I know like when are you supposed to check out? Uh, tomorrow. That's the tomorrow? problem. Um, yeah. it's, it's fine. So you can just leave it as it is. And if you want to use the toilet, you can use the public one. But the baby's in the toilet. How do I explain this to my wa- my wayward wife? Uh, uh, the baby flushed himself down the toilet. I don't, um, I don't know what to do. That's why I was asking, where does the water come out? Where? Oh. Oh, so, um... Where? Can Where? you just um, give me a moment? So let me just uh, talk to my uh, management and told them. Are they right there? Are them. they right next to you? So they are not right here, but uh, I have to call them. You have to call them. Why? How do we solve? Yeah, how do we so- solve this? Yeah, because uh, no minute. Because no I'm afraid if other people start flushing their toilets, that their the baby the baby won't be okay. Can we call everyone in the hotel and tell them no more toilets? No, you don't. Please, can I not? Uh, can I knock on all the doors and tell them no more toilet? No, 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 no. So let me just tell. So you said the baby's in the toilet, right? Yeah, in the pipes. So flushed, flushed himself. I'm gonna start knocking on doors. Tell him, tell him no more toilet. Um, just give me a moment. Let me just. Talk I'm knocking on doors right now. No more toilet. Oh. I'm knock, knock, knocking on toilet doors. <laughs> Boy, I don't know why she believed that. Maybe it was a language barrier. It was definitely something like that. Boy. Hello. Hi, is that Jed? Yes. Hey, Jed. How you doing? Um, listen, uh, I know it's it's dark out right now, but um, I just wanted to let you know I'm gonna. I, you got all that foliage, right? Like the nice lawn and stuff. Like the you got the trees and all that. You got the, you got the one big tree out by the curb. Uh, what, I'm not sure what you're talking about. The tree, the tree, out kind of by the yards next to your driveway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I 
I buried something there about two years back. I'm going to go out and retrieve it, okay? So if you hear some noise out here, like, don't be alarmed. <laughs> On the boulevard? Uh, yeah. Like between the sidewalk and the street? Yeah, yeah, over here on Stevens, Stevens West. Yeah. 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 Um, but I buried something there, like like I said, a couple of years back, and I need to I need to retrieve it now. Oh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go up there and start di- and start digging because re- I, really this isn't your tree anyway because it's on this side of the sidewalk so this is considered an easement but I thought it'd be neighborly to let you know at least yeah sure sure absolutely um, but I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna I'm, it, really if the roots have encased it I might have to cut the roots and it might kill the tree but that's neither here nor there um, but I just thought I should let you know because there's gonna be okay. there's gonna be some noise okay right now yeah. So are you cutting the tree down? Well, no, the roots. I might have to cut the roots. Okay. Because I I buried some papers in a briefcase under there. It's a waterproof briefcase. I buried it there several several years back. Um, oh. But it's it's very important documents. Okay. Okay. Interesting. It's the documents about where Jimmy Hoffa's buried. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all so, right. So I got, you, I got, I got to get them because I'm, I'm moving out of state, and so I got, oh. I got, I got to have them. I got to find a new hiding spot. Sure, sure. Was, yeah, yeah. Was that who was laughing in the background? Was that Tatiana? Yeah. Oh, what's she laughing about? <laughs> I think she's just laughing at me laughing. Oh, she, she likes your laugh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. is that why you got married? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. cool, yeah. cool. Um, and you know what? And she's she's got a birthday coming up in a few months. Like I, I'm gonna just do it. Ha- happy birthday, early birthday. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. So, hey, who is this? My name's Dwight, and uh, I'm actually a criminal. Ah, but that cool. but that's that was a label given to me because I'm Republican. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. All right, man. Well, Dwight. Well, well. Happy treasure hunting. Ah, thank you, thank you. I will. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye, Jed. Bye. Hi, this is Julie. Please leave me a message of any length, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, Julie. How are you? Uh, I was calling, uh, I was actually referred to you, uh, I'm a handyman, and I understand you have a new Murphy bed uh, that you need attached to a guest room uh, wall. Uh, We can definitely do that for you. Um, If you want, you can give me a call back and I'll I'll get that squared away from you. Another option, though, that we may have um, is attaching the Murphy bed uh, to your exterior wall by your garage. And just folding it up into your garage. That way, when guests come over that you don't like, you can be like, hey, here's a bed, but it's in the garage, but it's heated. And then uh, it turns out your heat source is just when you turn the car on to let the fumes accumulate in the garage. So if you want that to happen, just go ahead and give me a call back. Um, I'm very, uh, very open, and I can make that happen. Lickety split. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't know where my Easter basket is. Quality in? Yeah, hi. Who who's in charge down there right now, Jerky? Uh, where? Yeah, no. Who's in charge down there? At the hotel? Yeah. It should be Nisha, our manager. Well, I mean, who's there right now that I could talk to? Right now, we don't have a manager. All right, can you? On duty. Could you listen to me then? Yep. All right. I you got a pen? I I gotta I gotta get I gotta get this out. I gotta get this out now. I have a pen. All right. I want you to take this down. My name's Dwight. And I was staying in 215. Okay. All right. Begin memo. This establishment is the cleanest hotel I have ever stayed in in my life. (sighs) 
because of the great customer service that I received at this hotel, I will be back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I stayed at this establishment, I felt safer than I've ever felt safe before. I felt safer than when I was in my mother's womb. <laughs> Okay, read back what you got for me. That this hotel is the cleanest hotel, and this is a great establishment. Mm -hmm. That's all I saw. All right. Now, who taught who taught these housekeepers how to how to fold the sheets? The sheets were so crisp. I think it was. I think it was the manager too. These these, these sheets were so sharp. They were folded so sharply. I thought they were gonna cut me. <laughs> And, I, and then, and then I, I also when I like I felt safe. I self, I felt safe enough to walk around naked. <laughs> I walked around naked. I walked around naked and I hopped around like the Easter Bunny. <laughs> and then, and then I, I was like, ah, yeah, look at this, look at this egg, and I pooped on the floor. That's an Easter egg. I'm a bunny because I'm a bunny. And that's where Easter eggs come from. Now, now after I've given you these compliments and told you what I did on a scale of one to ten, how how turned on are you right now? Not sure. Okay, like if you had to throw a number out there from one to ten. One. All right, that's the highest score you can get out of one to ten. Fantastic. Yeah, 10, 10 was the lowest, 1 was the highest, so you're extremely turned on right now. I get it. All right. And what about that story turned you on? Pretty much nothing. Nothing? Then why are you so excited? Not sure. Are you playing games with me now? I give you all these compliments, and now, now you're over here playing games with my emotions? I was about to, like, I thought you were wifey material for a second. So, like, why aren't you marrying me now? Not sure. I did everything right. Like, why, why are you doing this to me? I've put years and years and minutes and minutes of my love into this relationship. Listen, listen, listen. I didn't put you on my life insurance policy for nothing. I need something in return. What do you have to offer? You tell me now. I'm not sure. What can you offer me? Hmm. Pretty much not. Why? You can't even off offer me your marriage? You not even an emotion? Like, we can have an emotionless relationship? <sighs> I don't even know why. Why you, I mean, I've been watching you from afar for the longest time. <sighs> Another Easter alone. <sighs> oh, that did it. <laughs> Emotional roller coaster. <laughs> no shit. Just fucking devolved right into fucking crying. <laughs> From aggressive to happy to sad. <laughs> All in one. The three, the three stages of life. Yeah. Oh boy. That was that was something. She I I mean she's self aware. She's like, I have absolutely nothing to offer to this relationship. I she's like, I'm just kinda here. It's like, you make a good wage? She's like, no, not really. So we can just share emotions then? No, no, I don't even have those. Well, how may I help you? Hi, Jewel. Um, I... Is this real life? Yes. I've consumed way too much marijuana. I've been growing it in my room for the last month. And I think it's just about ripe. And I am tripping balls right now. I feel like I'm out of my body and this is a movie. 
Okay, what room are you in, sir? I don't even know what what body I'm in right now. I don't even know if this is my body. Okay, do you know who you're calling? I'm I I know this was it like I have this number saved as staying here. So I you're staying here. Okay. Um are you currently in the hotel? Yes. Okay, can you find a way to find out what room you're in? I I'm I'm limited with motor motor functions right now. My toes don't work, but my legs do. Okay. I um, when I is when it okay I, if I place you on a brief hold? It's not. I'm scared. Okay. Okay. Stay on the phone. Okay. No. No. Don't don't put me on hold. I'm not. I'm, I'm still here. Don't put me on hold. I'm, I'm I'm freaking out. I ate six leaves off of this off of this pipe or off of this pipe off of this plant pipe. I've ate six leaves. I rolled it up. Okay. I, I rolled it up in a in a bacon lettuce and tomato sandwich. And I'm and, and I'm and I'm and, and I'm freaking out. Everybody, watch your ears. Did you want us to send help? Hey, what's going on? Hello. Hello. It's my second day, so I'm kind of like, I don't know what's going on. How can I help you? Where are you at? Hello? Where are you at? Bathroom. I'm in the bathroom. Are you okay? I don't speak Spanish. I'm in the El Baño. Um, well, which, qual baño? El baño, I, um, uh, I've, uh, uh, tengo el gato los panalones. I, that's all the Spanish I know. How can I help you? I've eaten six leaves, but I think the mistake is after... After I, I cooked it above 250 degrees, and like it, it supercharged it, and now like I can't, I can't, I just can't, I can't. I'm in the room and I can't. Uh, uh, I can't. What room number? El Señor en el cuatro con le B. Uh, oh man, I accidentally got high again by eating a marijuana leaves. Oh. Uh, Do we need to call uh, the paramedics? Much, mo, mucha mota. Oh. I tried to calm things down. I got, I used the bathroom toaster. I threw it into the bathtub with me. And the fucking thing short circuited. It's not good for the bathroom. It has been rated badly. I took a shower and tried cooking a grilled cheese in here. I had a panini okay. press, and then the bread got soggy, and then it went into this into the shower drain. And now the shower's backed up. There's water everywhere. I had a liquid. I had a liquid cheese coming out of my ass. I had a whole situation going on up here. It's a mess. I tried to take CBD to calm the fuck down. That didn't work. Uh, do you have an extension cable? The toaster's wire doesn't extend far enough to make it work right. It comes unplugged when I throw it, throw it in the fucking bathroom toaster into the goddamn bathtub where it belongs. It's not long enough. Uh, All right. Well, I tell you what. If if you need me or need any one of us, you can come down. We can see what we can I do. I got cookies stuck in my underwear. Now it looks like I pooped my pants and I didn't. They were just Oreos that melted. And now mm -hmm. I'm trying to throw up the, the. I'm trying to throw it all up. Oh no. Uh, I tried to. I tried to. 
I went to the movies. Uh, I tried to sneak snacks in, but they keep searching me because they know that's what I do. So I tucked Oreos under my nut sacks and went to the movies and I forgot they were in there. And I sat down for two and a half hours of the movie and I melted it and adhered to my, to my underwear. And now I come back and I think I pooped myself, but I didn't poop myself. It was just Oreos. You've been there. Oreos like in your underwear. All right. Hey, I tell you what, if if you want to come down, we can discuss it a little bit. I started pretending right to pretend I was the Easter Bunny, and I got the Cadbury eggs, and I put Take them in my care. underwear, Bye. and I said, I'm a rabbit, I'm a bunny rabbit. Easter, Easter, Easter. We have a chocolate... <laughs> We have a chocolate bunny in the fridge waiting for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I just head off. <laughs> Lost the patient. Jeez, imagine that. You were ripped, man. You were totally it was ripped. A, it was a whole <laughs> fucking saga going yeah. on down oh, there. Man. I, got, I thought I was a cake. I fucking frosted myself. I don't, I don't even know what to do. I need somebody to come fucking sing happy birthday before I could take it off. And maybe maybe that's just our Easter thing. Is like I I think I'm the Easter Bunny. I fucking had so much drugs. I'm now the Easter Bunny. Tyrant, do we need to have a talk about extended machine? stay sugar house? This is Haley. Hi Haley, how are you? Good. 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 Did you see anybody down there possibly dressed? Uh, and I'm not trying to be funny or anything. Uh, he he, he kind of looks like Jesus. <gasps> I have not seen Jesus today. Okay, because he's he's running <laughs> late. He's supposed to be up here for the ceremonial uh, crucifixion we're doing in the room. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> he's, let, let me say a quick prayer and see where he's well, at. Well, no, we, we got him off of Craigslist. He apparently used to be a uh, some type of circus performer or something. Like He used to drive nails oh into his God. hands. So he's been preparing for this for a while, and we just thought it'd be really cool. So... Um, we went and painted like oh, a, Lord. we went and painted like a, and I know I'm gonna have to pay for damages, but we paint on the wall. We like <laughs> outlined what we thought would a crucifix would look like. And we're just going to nail his hands and feet to the wall. There you go. It's just for fun. Dude. Well, no, he's, he's done it for a living. He, and like, we're like this, Oh my God. like our parents were really, really big Catholics growing up. And like, we were forced into it and we're like, it, it, like <laughs> oh, the, the physics God. behind Jesus actually being, nailed to a crucifix i don't believe oh, the right. physics work out so uh, we're no. we're basically, basically we're doing an internet <laughs> yes, podcast yeah, yeah you, you've seen the show mythbusters back in the day right oh yeah yeah well we're kind of do we're not mythbusters but we're kind of doing the same thing so you know we're gonna we're gonna confirm oh, my God. like could jesus actually survive on his own strength on top of that crucifix for days right for three days yeah but we're just gonna have this guy like you know six six inches off the ground and we're we're really gonna fucking nail him. And there you go. And uh, you gotta have hobbies, you know. <laughs> right, right. Well, we're a lot of this is like we're trying to disprove. Like, you know, we have uh, oh, we have some of the atheist friends over here, and like we've been in big arguments about this. And so oh, they're they're trying go. to disprove yeah, it to us. It. We're trying to prove it that it's real. Uh, <laughs> You know, and it, and if uh, if it's real, like if he can, because we're gonna keep him up there for about three days, and if he can stay up there for three days, um, then our, our then it our, happened, huh? Our, yeah, our our, athe <laughs> our atheist friends uh, have have to like go to church with us, and we we, we there think, you go. We think they'll actually um, combust spontaneously. Convert? If they, yeah, if they, well, no, they won't. They won't convert <laughs> because they're 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 little they're they'll little combust. they're basically spawns of uh, of Lucifer. But uh, yeah, they'll probably just oh combust when they come in. <laughs> what, what's your what's the best conversation I've had in a long time? Oh, really, really, really? It's uh, is it kind of a mundane type of thing when you're usually at the front desk. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the type of people we're dealing with, like they they wear socks with sandals. So I mean, read into that what you oh, will. God. Yeah, the oh, the hu the husband I'm pretty sure wears socks to bed too. Like, I don't know. Oh, God. Yeah, no. yeah. Yeah. Like, how are you supposed to procreate, like, properly if you have socks on? Because you have the natural socks on. Yeah, because the natural grippiness of your of your feet to allow for the proper, uh, the <laughs> torque and penetration. Like, you can't get that with socks. You just can't. I mean, even Jesus went, went barefoot and wore sandals. Oh, my God. My stomach hurts. <laughs> So I was gonna, I was gonna ask you. I was, I was, I was instantly interested in you as soon as you answered the phone. What is your sign? 
I am a Pisces sun, a Leo rising, and an Aquarius moon. Okay, and what does that what does that mean? That means the planets are all in the sky when you're born, and just the different placements or different aspects of your personality mm-hmm. and the way you look and what you're here to do on this lifetime. Okay, and do you want to get? Can you guess my sign? I'm gonna say either Sag or a Gemini. Nope, my sign is stop. What? <laughs> That's perfect. I know. That's perfect. I uh, have to use that. <laughs> you should. You should. You should. You should. What's your sign? Stop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Proceed with caution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've presented that sign uh, several times. Yes. Yes. Oh, I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They. they they're, like I, I should actually get that tattooed on me. But I can't. <laughs> but I can't because my parents are Catholic. They won't let me desecrate my temple. Oh yeah. My temple. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I think it's detour. Right, it's a good one too. Yeah, right? Animal Crossing. Right. Oh uh, yeah, I bet you. Have you run across a few of those in your lifetime? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Where'd My you, favorite kind. Where, where'd you bury them? My bury them. Yeah, where'd you bury them? Oh, where did I bury them? Yeah. I got a big backyard, actually. Yeah, is that where all and the trees, garden. the trees grow? Oh, the garden. fertilizer. Oh, the, you ever watch that movie, uh, uh, the secret, the secret window with uh, Johnny Depp? He buried, he buried his ex-wife under the corn stalks. He had, like he grew corn and he used her as fertilizer under his garden. Yeah. Oh yeah, corn stalks grow shallow, so that'd be wonderful for it. Yeah. Do you ever smoke weed at work? <laughs> no. Absolutely do you, not. Do you want to? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think I could function. You want, I would not be. You want to? You want to get high and come employee. watch a crucifixion in room two fifteen? <laughs> right. oh I'm going to relate to my boss what I got offered to smoke weed and watch Jesus. See if Jesus can die. On it's not the real. It's not the real Jesus though. Like, it's the, the, it's not doing? the real Jesus. The, I don't want to get you institutionalized. <laughs> right. No, it's not the real Jesus. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I want to. Not like, the real Jesus. No, 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 no. This is a fake, it's fake. A fa- it's a fake Jesus. I don't even think he's the Hispanic. Guy looks like Jesus. Yeah, I don't even think he's Hispanic at all. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Yeah, th- just, t- t- just tell you, just tell your boss not to call my number back because some weird shit might happen. Okay. <laughs> you might hear some screams, some He's na- got a good sense some of humor. some nail some he nail some nail funny. some nail guns. Like there there might be some stuff going. On. Yeah, guys, put the crucifix <laughs> put the crucifix right over there. Right, right up against that wall, right We're- there. <laughs> We're gonna have a little spackling needed after this guest leaves. <laughs> oh now you're just talking dirty. I, I'm not into that. Like I was I was into you until you started talking dirty like that. Like Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Like you're a dirty little mind. Listen to you. <laughs> I'm sitting here telling you how I'm a good Catholic boy and you starting over here talking about spackling. Uh, right. You're gonna spackle me and stuff. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I know I know my what ribs would, hurt. What would laughing. your parents think? <laughs> right. Why yeah, they'd get a kick out of this. I have cool parents. Do you? <laughs> Oh yeah, yep. Oh okay. They had done any crazy stuff? They wouldn't tell me, but they're just cool. They uh, wouldn't be. They're not shocked by anything that I do or say because they have sense of humor. <laughs> did you know the Easter Bunny on uh, on construction sites has a spackle basket? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> God. So- I don't even understand Easter. What that's about. <laughs> Oh, that's when Jesus and bunnies. Yeah, that's That's, when that's when Jesus went around and and like gave everybody eggs. That's what it is. Gotcha. It's about it's about the peep the peeps corporation. There you go. (laughs) It's it's all it's all it's all about that. It's like it's like the April of Valentine's Day, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. I've never made sense of it. I just knew I got candy. You got you got candy, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. From from my, some, from through. someone special or no? Apparently, a giant overgrown Easter bunny that I never saw. Oh, oh, 
you're, you're talking about Armenians. Yeah, they are pretty hairy. <laughs> oh, is, that, is that your type or something? Or? I, I don't know. Maybe that could be my problem. <laughs> yeah, you need to get a, like you need to get a thing of ninety day fiance going. Like we'll go. <laughs> I've heard about that. I don't have TV, so I don't know what it is. You don't have TV. I mean, you got a whole hotel title. and no TV. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't grow up with TV. I didn't raise kids with TV. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm you just, didn't tell me I'm you were Amish. <laughs> you right. I'm kind of am honestly. <laughs> Actually, you know, you'd be like, I don't have a stove. I cook by fireplace. No, I do have a stove. You do have a stove. I don't oh. have a microwave, though. Oh, shit. You're re- <laughs> rejecting your upbringing. I got it. I got it. Right. What's it? No, so, oh, like, the, how, how old are you? How how old is you? I know you're never supposed to ask that, but I, I can't look at you and take a guess. I, so I got to ask. I got to be blunt. I got to be forward. 50. You're 50? Okay. Mm-hmm. But but you got the... you got the, just turned 50. But you got the toes of a 20-year-old? Absolutely. Cool, cool, cool. Because I like to go out doing <laughs> salsa dancing and stuff, you know. There you go. I like to do. I like to do all, all the all the movements. Uh, I used. To, I'm actually a reformed uh, male dancer. I worked with the Thunder from Down Under, but the American version. Uh, but they. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I was like, <laughs> they only put me up there to make the other guys look look better. I was like the fat older brother type. And so, like they, you know, like Chris Farley when he was doing the Chippendale skit, almost exactly like that. Oh, that's awesome! I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, confidence is key. Yeah, I went out there in the thong and everything. And I, I drew the line. They were like, "Hey, you need you need to wax," and I'm like, "No, man, no, I can't do that." So yeah. Hi there. Are you checking in? Greedy. Let's cancel his reservation. <laughs> come on let's do it come on me and you let's cancel this guy's reservation is that jesus did jesus just walk in nope oh. Oh. it is not okay well let's cancel his reservation <laughs> tell him tell me right, tell me we, we have no more rooms come on there you go no more rooms okay i'll let you go check him in matthew Grady. Oh. All, right. all right thank you my dear all right i love you all right have a good one all right bye-bye. say it backwards weird Ah. All right. Well, we had a fun conversation with her. Yeah, she was she was all into it. She was into everything. That was weird. I don't even know what happened there. Do, do, do you guys know what happened there? I don't, I don't know what happened there. I know one thing. I didn't get water before the show. That was the Pisces connection. She's fun. <laughs> She was bored as fuck at work, is what that was. She, she <laughs> and you were just stop sign. <laughs> right? Yeah, she loved that shit, but she knew every fucking. She's like, I'm a, a fucking tsunami rising over the fire sun or some shit. Like a prisoner of Al, of yeah. Alcabaz yeah. under the under the flying moons. Yeah, full gas. Yeah, she knew her moon and all that. Yeah, I, I'm like, I'm Taurus. I'm. That's it. I'm first day of Taurus. <laughs> I said every moon, so that would have made her very. Uh, hey, very ma- hey, mailman. Yeah, I flipped you off. You asked to be flipped off. There's your finger. There's your finger. Don't steal my fingerprints off of the camera, off the stream. Don't do that. Don't don't steal my shit. They're fine, but every now and then you want to go native and cook with fire. Go native? What the fuck? That sounds cool. racist. Hump the seed out, gonna help you. Yeah, how do I go native? Oh, uh, the channel. Yeah, how how do I do? I I'm not really sure. You probably need to look look that up. Well, the recording I was just on with said to go native to ask to ask the person on the phone. Yeah, I don't know about because I thought it was I thought it was stripping down to uh to my natural goodness like my birthday suit and walk in the hallway, but people seem to be really fucking offended. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm naked in the hallway and women. <laughs> Women are, they're like laughing hysterically and like, um, I, I don't know what to do. Like now I'm locked out of my room cause my key card was in my pants and now I'm just, I'm just dangling out here in the hallway. What is your room number? Uh, 215. 215. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a room 215 though. I'm on the second floor by the elevator. 
And like, I'm just out here wearing like the, the Playboy bunny Easter bunny ears and, and nothing mm-hmm. else. Not, not, not even a stitch of clothing. Like there's not even so a do piece you need of yarn. To your room? Yeah. Yeah. You I need, I need to be, I need to be let in. Cause. <sighs> okay. What's your room number? Uh, can you look, 15, we don't have a room 215. Can, 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 can you look it up? Cause. Yeah. What's your name? Last name is Johnson. Johnson. And what's the first name? I don't know. One second. Okay. Solution for an effective pick me up. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, Dr. Emma Brown III. I was about to say you don't have a Johnson. I did one of those last night. Yeah, did, did I say like, his I wife? His wife? I was like, yeah, that's what your wife says. And he fucking, he laughed too. He fucking liked it. That's what your wife said. Yeah, the good old uh, Madhouse Militia Presents on Friday nights can get a, get a little wild. It, it gets out there. It gets hard. I, I just don't remember where you go in order to participate in that. www dot. He, he's he's not here. I threw I, that was the wind up in the pitch. I was like the Randy Johnson yeah. of fucking pitches right there. Immoralhole dot com. Yeah, travels with Miriam dot com. Actually, I don't even know if that's still a thing. He might be. He he might he might have he might have k hold himself. Huh? I I threw <laughs> I threw you a pitch to fucking put out your shit for where people participate in your oh, show. <laughs> I'm busy with a lot of shit. My you can hear my computer fans probably through the microphone. I was like, I was like burning up over. I here. was talking about the call last night when the guy said I, I don't I don't have a Johnson anywhere and I said that's where you, that's what your yeah, wife said yeah. and then I was like I wonder I said, I and just can't laughed. yeah I was like I can't remember where you go to yeah. participate in the Madhouse Militia shows. And then we sat there and waited. And then you're like, nothing. We're like, oh, he can't hold himself. <laughs> no. Uh, immoralhole.com and immoraljuice.com and rogueserver.com forward slash AKSPA. Friday nights, 10 p.m. Immoral, Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, is immoralhole.com link to all of those other no. sites? No, oh. no, not at all. Sorry. And then there's travelswithmiriam.com, ah, which is so the old shit. Yeah. Why you gotta bring up old shit? Oh, it's all there. W-W-W dot. Who was on the phone while we were speaking? Oh, no, nobody. I hit the number to dial, and then I accidentally clicked, yeah. and there was nobody there. Hello? Hello? Hi. I'm, Who is this? Uh, my name is Dwight, uh, and I'm a, I'm a criminal, and I'm calling about the gallon jugs that you have. You have ten of them? Uh, I don't, you can't, yeah, I do. Okay, great. Um, now, are, so they're available, that's great. Uh, you said they held some, some sweet tea from, uh, Chick-fil-A then, all right. Uh, are they any comparable to, like, milk jugs? Like, yeah, are they a different type of, uh, plastic? Is, are they heavier, are they lighter? What, what's going on here? Well, I put the plastic, it's a number seven plastic, but that's all I can tell you. They're a heavy plastic. Okay. Because I'm I'm doing some I'm doing some uh, renovations for a, a couple where we're actually we're finishing off their basement, uh, but they're they're not going for the full upgrades like I where I go and I mark my prices up. So what I want to do is I'm I'm trying to have my men uh, pee in the gallon jugs and we're going to hide them in their walls. I guess you better get a life. Oh, well, man. <laughs> That's for you, Nashby. That's you. Nashby tries to walk that back. He says he never did that, but he he definitely fucking said he did it. Then Nashby, you nasty, nasty man. Hello, thank you for calling Best Western. How can I help you? Yeah, hi. I don't know wh- uh, when the bathroom. Like, did you guys shut the water off? Uh, no, sir. We don't. Or we didn't. Okay, cause my. I was getting ready to give my baby a bath, and there's no water. So cur- currently, I and you can't say anything to anyone. I'm bathing my my child in the in the toilet right now, and so I need to know when the water is going to be back on because I can't keep doing this. It's not it's not 100 hygienic. Um, sorry. What is your room number? Uh, I'm in 215. It's okay, baby. It's okay. 
It's all right. Yeah, I do. I do apologize, sir. Like, um, like I haven't got any other complaints about the water. Uh huh. Is it? Well, I I paid I paid for my full stay. I don't know why. It, I don't know why it would be. It's maybe it's okay. Don't touch that. Okay. Don't don't touch. Oh my shit! Don't touch that. Oh no. The baby. The the baby has went down the toilet. Oh my god. For calling Hall Lane Exhibition Valley. How can I help you? Hi. Uh, you can let everyone know. I think I won the Easter egg hunt. Y'all are uh, y'all are uh, sponsoring. Uh, sorry. I can, I can get yeah, you guys are doing an Easter egg hunt, and I'm. I think I found it. I think I found it inside of my wall. The golden egg. I don't know, sir. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm drilling into my wall to get the egg. I don't know, sir. We did nothing like this. No, I am. I'm doing it right now. What do you mean? You're doing it right now? Yeah, I'm drilling into my wall to get the golden egg. I'm going to win the money. So, I don't know how it goes like. What? I don't understand what you're talking. Sorry about that. You hear my drill? Sorry? Do you hear my drill? No, your voice is breaking. That's the thing. Like you're saying some Easter egg, but I didn't get you. I'm drilling. I'm drilling the wall. I'm putting a drill. To the wall, and I'm 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 drilling the wall. Okay. I'm I'm gonna find the golden egg, and I'm gonna win the money. Where? Where From, are you drilling? I'm drilling in my room. I'm drilling the wall in my room. What's your room number? I'm in the room. I'm drilling. I'm drilling, drilling, drilling. Yeah. What's your room number, sir? Go find it, motherfucker. Calling Gas Project Motel. How are you? Yeah, hi. Um, where is the Easter egg? You guys just called here and said there's a $500 solid gold Easter egg in my wall, and I've been trying to get at it. Where in the wall? You know where you're calling? Yeah, the hotel I'm at. We don't have any Easter. Uh, yeah, this is the Ace Budget, right? Yeah, this is the Ace Budget, and we don't have anything. No, somebody, they said they worked for the front desk, and they called me. And they said, hey, no, 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 no. You, you're not even letting me finish. The guy said that he's from the front desk and that uh, there's an Easter egg hunt and there's a solid gold Easter egg in one of the walls. So I've been drilling my wall trying to find it, but I can't find it in here. In what room you are in? In in the in my room. And like I've been drilling and drilling spots in the wall. But are I you can't... going mad? What do you mean? If you are drilling, I'm going to complain to the 211 and I will make sure you are out of this program. But where is it? You guys said it's in here somewhere. I've are you fool or what? No, I'm trying to find it. $500 well, is a lot. What room you are in? I'm in the, I'm in the uh, like not the bathroom, but the main living space right now. You are in which room? What's your name? My, my name is Dwight. I'm in the room right next to the payphone on the second floor. Which hotel you are in? What do you mean? I already told you. I'm at the, at the Ace. I'm at the, I'm at the Ace Budget. Can no? you come to the office? Uh, I'm yeah. gonna make sure you're gonna kick out right now. As soon as I find this golden egg that you said is in this wall. Are you going mad, you fool? No, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get rich, man. What room you are in? What room number you are in? I'm gonna call the cops right now. Don't call the cops. Why are you calling the cops? Are you going mad? Who the fuck told you to drill the wall? You did. Somebody from the front desk. Are you going mad? What, right now, come to the office. I can't. I'm on a hunt for an Easter egg. I'm coming with the cops, and I'm going to make sure you will stay three days in the jail. No, I, I don't have time. I don't have time for that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make sure you're going to. I'm going to break your ass. <laughs> he said he's going to break. He's going to break my ass. Oh, very specific. That, that sound clip needs to be preserved. I'm gonna break your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna break your ass. Wow, have you gone bad, yeah. fool? <laughs> wow. I'll make sure you spend three days in prison. Yeah, I like that. He, yeah, he, he gets to, he gets to determine my fucking length of jail stay. You'll get three days. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass is broken. I, I guess. He's like the fucking Ivan Drago of ass breaking. I guess he's not good to break you. <laughs> I, must, I must break you. I guess I got to call him back now and tell him I found it. Love you. Hey, I, I still can't find it. 
Yeah, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna show you where the eggs is. Okay, just wait. I'm coming with the car. Wait, uh, let me turn my let me turn my construction equipment off. What? Where? Where is the egg? Where is it? I'll split it with what? you. In what room you are in? Just let me know. I'm gonna kick you out right I, now. I told you. You know, you go up the stairs. On the first room on the right, and on the left is the payphone. What is your room number? Hang on. I'm gonna drill some more holes. I'm gonna come and break your ass right now. Why? No. <laughs> he loves that term. He loves it. Absolutely <laughs> loves it. That's his go-to. That's good. I'm gonna break your ass. <laughs> Sounds a little bit homo. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I gave him specific instructions. Go up the fucking stairs to the first room on the right. The pay phone's on the left. He should be able to find the room. Very easily. All right. One last one for him, and then we'll leave him alone. Oh. Yeah, hi. I've stopped drilling. Here, can you come up here and break my ass real quick, please? Me and some gentlemen would really love that. Come break our ass. Oh, yeah. Oh boy! Now he's really gonna join. He's really gonna break my yeah. ass now. Too, he's too late. I've already got some other guys up here doing that. He's gonna get some of those uh, like male strippers that trust like cops that their uh, uniforms are a breakaway. Gonna come break oh, that yeah, ass. assless. Yeah, he's gonna come there. P U M there. This fucking guy. That guy was. He was priceless. He's so cute. He really knows how to make a how to make a man blush. Is it is. Hi, this is Ruby. How can I help you? Hi, Ruby. Um, I still don't know what you guys are talking about. Um, what do you mean, sir? Well, somebody just called from the front desk, and it wasn't you. It was a man. And he told me about this uh, golden Easter egg hunt that you guys are having. And he said that it was in my room and it was in my wall, but I still have not been able to find it. Oh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I just started my shift, so I yeah. don't know who called you. Yeah, I don't know either, but I've been drilling I've been drilling into my wall and trying to run, like, a scope down in there. I can't find it. I don't see it. What room are you in? I'm in 215. 215? Yeah. Okay, I don't know, sir. But I've been drilling pilot holes in the walls to try no, to figure... you can't do that. Well, I've been doing it. I've been... The guy told me that it was in my wall. No, you can't do that. 241 room? Yeah. But where, where is it, though? Like, if I had a better idea, I wouldn't have to drill as many holes. Sir, I don't know who called you, but I didn't call you. Yeah, right? I, well, I know that. I said it was a man. You're in 241? Yeah. What, where is it in here, though? You're in 241. You're no, not in 241. I said, two, you? I said 215. I don't know where you got 241 from. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I can't find the, 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 guy, the guy said it was a $500 valued golden Easter egg. And he says it's in my wall. And then he chuckled a little bit. And that, so I've been for like the last 45 minutes drilling holes. I don't know, sir. I, that I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Because yeah. I never called and nobody will call you. Yeah, lis office, listen to me. You I'm, dr oh, listen, I'm drilling holes. Oh, I'm, dr I'm drilling holes right oh, now yeah. looking for the golden Easter egg. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, oh, I'm drilling holes. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, we're, dr we're drilling different holes now. Welcome in front of How can I help you? Hi. I, I, I just don't I don't understand what's going on. I, one of you guys called me like a half hour ago and told me about this golden Easter egg hunt that you're having and told me it was in my wall. And I can't find it. I've been drilling the holes in the wall for like a half an hour now. Your room number? Uh, I'm in 215. Does this we sound... Don't have any... Does this sound like it's close? Sorry? Is this... Does it sound like it's close to where the egg is? Because I'm... I'm drilling. I'm drilling in the wall. Uh, whom do you want? Uh, I, I think you called the wrong number. No! No, no. I'm at the, I'm at the right place. I'm at the welcome in. Okay. Uh, so, you're in welcome in. So... Uh, what exactly is the question? Can you come over again? I'm drilling holes in the walls to find the Easter egg. You can't supposed to do that, right? But no, I, 
I'm, I'm trying to find the Easter egg. Okay, listen, I'll be honest with you. I'm drilling holes in the wall to hide my drugs because the cops keep knocking on my door. Okay. So which room number you are in? I'm on the, I'm uh, number three. You said uh, 25 or something? Yeah, three. Room number three? Yeah. Oh, room number three, Gabriel is there, so. Got one now? Uh, uh, in room number three, we have uh, a guest named Gabriel. Yeah, that's 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 my wife. That's you, your wife. Yeah, you know they say never, never, never marry one of your hoes. Why? Well, I, I did it. Okay, okay. Uh, let me see your wife then. Yeah. I'm here. I'm already in the room. And okay. I'm, let, let me, I'm smoking. Let me... I'm smoking marijuana in here. I'm, okay. I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm eating vagina juices. <laughs> I know I, fu I fucked it up. I, I, you caught me. I fucked it up. I, I, I laugh. I, la I laughed too hard. I, I couldn't mask the laugh. God damn it. God damn you. Good one, man. How, how you doing, Mister Banchod? How are you? <laughs> Who is that? Who told you that? Who taught me what? Banchod and Madarchod? Oh, Sanjay taught yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, Sanjay taught yeah, me. Who? I can who have him. You? I can have Sanjay call you, and he he can explain the situation. Okay. All right. All right. Hang on. I'll call you back with Sanjay. I'll be right back. <laughs> Axma, if you want to dial that number, he he's more than willing to talk to Sanjay. He fucking he, he loves he loves all the things. Let me uh, make sure the thing is set up. Let me find the number here. He was fucking cracking up. He, lo he, he loved that shit. Oh, I dropped it in the Skype. Uh, oh, that's the number. Yep, that's, that's the, the one number. you want. That's the one I that he wants. I can't copy the damn thing. Oh, great. It's broke. Come on. I hate Skype. Why do we use Skype? All right, here we I go. I thought it was supposed to be discontinued a long time ago. Oh, hello. I am Sanjay. Hello. hello. Yeah, hi, Sanjay. How are you, yeah, my friend? Like oh. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, my, my friend How are you? you. He's the big Bodmash, my friend. He called you. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Someone is uh, just playing around. I know that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yesterday, you know what he said to me? He said, Tera bapu me. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I really want to know what it means. So... So I asked uh, Siri to talk back to him, and Siri said, Londele Maru Mother Trot? What does that mean? You can say same to you. The same to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Siri what to say. Hold on. Okay, she says Terry Madi Lan Bandy. What is what is that? <laughs> So, sometimes, sometimes Indian girls like they hit on me, but they stink. Why do they stink? Uh oh. You can ask them. Why do you stink? Is it an Indi you... Indian thing? But it's not it's... kind of Indian thing. I the, had... women, the women on GB Road, they wash, they wash for you, right? GB Road. Yeah. I think most American girls are stinky. At least the one with Sam. <laughs> he sometimes she like I, bath, right? so. sometimes I had an Indian girlfriend and sometimes I forgot I gave her a spare key and then she just comes into my house while I'm sitting there and like I have to make sure I'm not masturbating because she can just come in at any time. But she always just comes in and goes straight to my bathroom and takes really nasty garlic garlic shits. I don't know why she so she right, does. I thought somebody. Who does that? So you. We had a uh, lot many questions, man. Yeah. I'm not be the the right person to maybe Sanjay can help you out with that. S Sanjay, Sanjay. No, I'm I'm yeah. I'm a bastard. I'm a big bastard. I can't help anybody with anything. <laughs> He keep, so he, he's the right person. He, see? So he keeps telling me I should try this uh, Gao Mutra that he he said fresh squeezed. Yeah, it's lemonade. Yeah, right? yeah. You, you, so, so, so if you try that, uh, 
you'll forget all those things, you know, all these questions that uh, you will get answers. Oh, it's like the enlightenment potion. Wow. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yes. So if you drink the, the urine of a cow, you learn all things. Yeah, yeah. I like cows. They're nice. I like, I, to, like okay. I like to pet their udders. Yeah. Does anybody ever just come okay. up to you and say, like, haram jarekuta or anything like that? Does that ever happen to you? Nobody did. Uh, I think nobody has to do to. Nobody <laughs> dares? <laughs> nobody dares. <laughs> at least uh, on my face, at least. Are, why are you very intimidating? Are you big? Are you big man? No, no, no. I'm very like not very built, not very heavily built. But uh, seems I met uh, good people, maybe. Oh yeah, you. But you can tussle, right? You go to the ground, you put them in a headlock, <laughs> you pound them, and and you say, "Take that, Tuthia." Is that what you do? Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, man. I, I got a guest. Uh, thanks for calling. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. you, man. Thank you. Bye, bye. bye. Kiss Love you. you. Yeah. <laughs> I kiss you. I kiss you. I'm gonna come and break your eyes right now. Ocean Beach Hotel. How can I help you? Yes. Hi. I, um, we're like we're interested. Like somebody handed us out this flyer. Um, when does the Easter egg hunt start? Um, at the hotel? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure this is going to be a thing. Yeah, I don't think we have any events planned for tomorrow. Well, no, I, it, someone handed it to me outside, and it says uh, the golden Easter egg hunt, one $500 solid gold Easter egg. And then it says in your room. Don't be afraid to check the walls. So we've been drilling the walls, trying to look for this thing. We can't find it for nothing. <laughs> yeah, um, there's no such thing as an Easter Easter Ted, egg hunt Ted, tonight. Try, Sorry. Try the, tonight or try tomorrow. The, try the bed by the wall, like right there. Try that wall. Sir, I'm sorry. I see you're not calling from a room at the hotel. I'm calling from my Do cell you need phone. Anything else? I'm calling from my cell phone. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, do you need anything else? Because, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's not going to be a well, thing. Well, it says if we can't find it, to call the front desk and you're allowed one free hint. Uh, yeah, that's not a thing. Someone someone tricked you. <laughs> tricked me into drilling holes in my own wall? Yeah, sir, unfortunately, that's not a thing. The holes are very much a thing. I'm just telling you that right now. Okay. Well, that's going to have to be paid for uh, because that Easter egg hunter is not a thing. But, but you're allowing people to stand outside and to hand us flyers that say that, and then you're not giving me hints where it's going to be at, and it's my fault. I look like the asshole. Yeah, the street is public, sir. They can do whatever they want outside, but not in private property. If it was the front desk handling or something, that would be a, a problem, but it wasn't us, so... Okay, so you're you're just washing your hands clean then. Yes, absolutely. That 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 seems a little irresponsible, doesn't it? No, absolutely not. No. Why would you let me drill holes you're into doing the, the damage? But at, at your direction. No, absolutely not. Not at our direction. Okay, wait a minute. What was your name? Um, why do you need my name? I need to know who I'm speaking to at the front. Um, if you want to come to the front desk and talk to me, I'll be happy to give you my name. I'm, 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 I, I'm actually, I, I don't think I want to talk to you face to face because I think you're actually a little bit intimidating, and I, I fear I drink a lot of soy, and I don't think I could handle somebody like you. Next 
See you, Ren. Hey, how you doing there, big girl? Who's this? It's Dwight. Uh, listen, me and Sanjay are up here right now, uh, and we're, I, I guess, bored is the term. Where do you go to find ladies around here, man? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. Uh, we're in town for a bit, and we're we're bored, and we're tickling each other's egg holes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, like, we don't, we don't, we don't want to, we, we don't want to do that because we're we're big, strong, straight men. We we have we have children. Like, we're straight. We have wives, but we're gonna be in town for about a month. And I don't want to tickle his egg hole in any more than he wants to tickle mine. I don't know what to tell you. You can Google entertainment in San Diego as well. Like I, I, stuff I, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to go to the strip club or anything. I'm just. Like, is there any nice places to, like, randomly meet women? Like, I'm about to go to the Black Women's Rally. There's, I heard there's supposed to be good, good, clean no girls idea. down there. I have no idea. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, San, Sanjay, this guy's no help. I thought you said he was going to help. Yeah, he's a big help. I mean, I had a problem with my microwave. Wouldn't turn on, and... He said, hey, you let the magic smoke out, and he blew on it, and it turned on. I mean, he was okay, well, you're going to do what? Have yourself a good evening. I bet you got a nice big egg hole on you, don't you? You're a rude man. He is. He is. He's a real rude mother motherfucker. He has a small egg hole. He can't get the eggs uh, in and out correctly. So it causes <laughs> him a lot of discomfort, you know? It's a sore subject. Yeah, is a is a holes. <laughs>